Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd do a little bit of work on my precious book, my precious collage book. It's been such a long time and it's that lovely relaxing time between Christmas and New Year. Today is Boxing Day and I've just been fussing around in my craft room here, getting rid of some stuff, organising a few things and now I've taken out my precious book and I thought I'd do a little bit of work in here. I thought that would be nice and it's quite large, isn't it? So, um, and I've had a quick flick through and oh, it's so nice to look at because I haven't looked at it for quite some time. So it really is lovely to look at. But anyway, I won't spend too much time looking at it. I want to work on it a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go for this page here. Okay, let me just move this one out of the way. Let me just check that I'm in shot. Yes, I am. Okay, so this is like a silvery grey kind of lace. We have done part of the other side, so I need to be mindful that I'm not pressing. In fact, I might just put that over it so I don't damage that. Um, although I could open it, that would be the best, that would be the best, but not coordinated or anything because that's totally different. And uh, I've put some of the bags out that I haven't um, used up yet and I've got this one here now. When I first got this, and this is from the lovely Sharon in England, when I first got this I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this and some of you may remember it's the beautiful Victorian earring it's made out of uh, what did she say is it it's made out of I just uh, ivory and gold and let me just bring that up to the camera so you can see how absolutely beautiful that is there's only one. It's a little hand. Isn't it sweet? And it's ever so tiny. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, I know I'd like to use it in a specific way um, if it works. So what I've done is I've printed out some images. Um, the first one was a bit too small, but I will use them at some other time. And this one right here is my one of is it's basically my favorite image you may have seen me use this image quite a few times in some projects and I thought I would see how her hand fits perfectly over there see even look she that's her thumb and she's holding on to her her fan the hand is actually like pointing but it's so similar if I put it like that you'll see that I'm going to put it over like that and have it as the lady's hand but it does mean I'm going to have to cut part of this picture out now I've printed this onto fabric I found this paper this fabric paper at the thrift store uh, only a few weeks ago actually and I was so happy I didn't realize it was fabric paper when I first saw it luckily I took a second look and there it was a, a packet of um, let me show you what it was exactly it was inkjet printable fabric um, and five sheets and there are five sheets well there's only four in there now it was a full packet and I got that for two dollars oh boy was I happy about that so and it's it's a really nice fabric as well so I'm just going to cut it a little bit around the image like that and have a look at what we can do to make because I can sew that on and then cover the edges perhaps uh, I might just round it a little bit that's my son in the background he's just 
playing around. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, I won't take the backing off just yet. Um, so I am going to, because I before I attach it, I need to cut the hole out and I need to know exactly where I want to be cutting that hole because I don't want to remove the earring from it. You know, I don't want to remove all the wire from it. Uh, I mean, I could. It's not like I'm going to use it as an earring, is it? Um, but I... I really don't want to do that. I kind of want to pin it to the fabric through the hole, if you know what I mean, if I can. So how much do I need to be cutting out? And I can disguise anything with a bit of lace or something. So right up to her elbow almost. Okay. Uh, let's get some tiny little... scissors for this. Hmm, maybe I do need to take the backing off because it's quite... Oh, I got it. I got it. So maybe I'll just like that. Have a look. Maybe I just need to put the whole slit down the middle of her hand. That might work. Let's have a look and go. Ah, that worked. See, I just popped that straight through the back. And that is now sitting fairly nicely on top, like that. But see how the front of her gown is all lace like that? I can pop a little bit of lace going down and, um, and do it like that, as if she's holding on to that little bit of ruffled lace. Oh, yay, I'm so glad that worked. Okay, now I will take this off. There we go. Okay, and that is, that's how that will go. That's nice, isn't it? And what I should do is pin it on now and then stitch the lady on and then I don't have to fiddle with that anymore. So let's hope it goes through. Okay, where do I want it? I think about there, perhaps. So, let's have a look. just cut a piece out. Let's see how that goes. Like that. I think that's a bit high on the page, actually. It's okay, that little hole will be covered up now anyway. Um, and that fit, that, see how that, that's, that works out quite nice. So I might, might bring it down more. It's just a little bit too high. So if I make it about here, here. Okay, let's see how that goes. There. Uh, 
like that. Okay. I'll just pin that and pin that just so it stays where I want it to stay. That's okay and And, I, and what I'm going to do is put some stitches on the back, I think, or perhaps put something under there. Oh, I know what I can use. A piece of this that will go under. We can make it go under. That's just the scrap from the fabric. And I can put that under there. That'll stop it coming out. And I can just use a little bit of fabric glue for that. There. There. Just make sure that that isn't crooked. No, that's fine, isn't it? Look at that. Just glue it. There's a bit of movement, but that's okay. It's an earring. Um, so I will, that will get stitched on. Now, how am I going to decorate it? It's all right. I've got a whole pile of the things over here, so I'm just grabbing them as I see them. Um, should have those on actually, shouldn't I? My old ones don't work. I've got an eye test tomorrow, so now that's a bit better. <laughs> uh, okay, this one is from June Angel Pews, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes. Um, Oh, and this was from Sharon, but Sharon is MS122839 on YouTube. Um, she doesn't do videos, I'm quite sure of that. She's a lovely lady. She sent me some beautiful wedding trims and things. Uh, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's another earring. Maybe we can use that. Because that goes nice. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. That's another one. Let's just pop that there. And there's this handkerchief. And I think this is Bruges lace. Oh, okay, it goes that way. Um, let me have a quick look at her note. Here it is here. <laughs> her most precious thing ever was her mother um, and her mother left her some beautiful things from the country of her birth and that was Bru Bruges a postcard and there's some another piece in there isn't that beautiful? And this is a place where they make this particular lace. Um, and so that's what... Okay. So there are a few things that she sent here. To familiarize myself with everything again. She's got some beautiful pieces of lace and there's a doily piece, some tatting there as well and then some another piece of the lace there. Isn't that beautiful? So soft. So today we will use a 
use this hanky perhaps and this this earring here and now I've used that one from Sharon I need to keep them all I'll put them in that little box I think there okay um, isn't that lovely might need to press it a little bit uh, oh I mustn't forget to put that back in there upside down but I really don't think that matters because it'll get lost over there I think oh unless I use it like that what I want is like a, a swag effect I think upside down like that Something like that, and, and that, and maybe that could go there, like that, maybe up like that, let me Okay, um, Need some fabric or something now. What's that? might not be the right colour. No, no, that one's not the right colour. Just have another look. There's a bit here that's, is that white enough? It could work. This is from, oh, th that's not the precious thing though, so we're trying to stick to the precious thing. Let's have a look here. Maybe. Uh, this is from Sonia. I wonder if any of those... I think I've used a bit of Sonia's already, haven't I? I'm just this is off a night dress isn't it just beautiful oh that would look nice somewhere wouldn't it I don't think it's going to work for the skirt though um, there's this piece here it's kind of a bit dark 
what's this one? Oh, this is a co that's a collar. I wonder if we could use a bit of that. Isn't that pretty lace? Hmm? Like maybe like obviously her dress would come right down, but we're we're imagining. Maybe like that under the hand into there. I can just cut that little bit down so we can see the other hand there as well. Not that that's overly important. That could work as, as the dress. Yes, that could work quite nicely actually. Let's just put a pin in there so we don't forget. And that's from Sonia. Sonia Steptoe. Lovely Sonia Steptoe. Um, and just cut that little end piece off there. So, and like that. Um, what else? this one quite plain I think just so we don't lose sight of the things on there not just the hand but the beautiful handkerchief and the the collar piece maybe this I don't let's have a look this is from Len Lenica Len's Crafty Life and this is some wedding applique because I think at that particular time she didn't have many appliques. That might be a bit too fussy on that page. Yes, I think so. We can. I can always come back. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just spotted something. I know I've got some over there still in the box, but I was trying to use new things. Oh, oh, look at that. I wonder if we can use that in here. Isn't that gorgeous? This is from Donna of Occasionally Zaza. Um, I th think I've already used a couple of the flowers from her. Uh, oh, she could, no, that might get in the way. Oh, that, no, we can still see that. If that comes out like that and like a curtain pull type thing, maybe like, You know, like that sort of thing. And have that on there. It's a bit long. Unless we lift it up a bit more. Oh, hang on, we won't lift it up. We will put this further up, perhaps. Up there. Like that. Ooh, that way it'll be like a, a dangle on the outside of the book. Mm, I'll leave it to think about. I do like it though with that page. 
even though the hand's gold, I don't think that matters. That's a beautiful marcasite earring from June. Isn't it just gorgeous? I love it, and I think it goes with the lady so beautifully. Maybe this part belongs on the spine of the book when we finally do the cover. I like it there, though. I'm just wondering if it's too... No, not really. I could always put a stitch in it so it didn't swing around too much. You know, put like a stitch there and a stitch there. So it's got some movement, but it doesn't swing around too much. It's so pretty. Do I need an underskirt? I think I do. And I need something around here. If I could use some of those on there. Some handmade crochet embellishments. And this is from Trisha Hall. She also sent a brooch as well, and I think it was attached to this, but we've used that. Oh, no, have we used it? Yes, we have used it. This is a paper clip. Oh, aren't they pretty? I wonder if we can put. Oh, they're so soft. We could use some of those going around, like, um, going around like that. And the saw here, some flowers a minute ago. And these are from. They are from Lynn Yvonne's too, from Lynn on YouTube. I wonder if we can use a couple of these on here as well. And she stitched those on. Uh, they might be a bit too white, but that's okay. Isn't it? Um... I don't think they're going to go with that page. We'll put those. Oh, we could use a couple of those as well. Keep those over there. Actually, put like maybe one there. Have those. Uh, one up. Maybe one up there. Put the pearls going up and then have something else coming down here. Um, so that takes care of Donna's. It's nice. is from Eva, Eva, I think. Is that Eva? Safariado. And she sent this gorgeous little black button. A bead, I think it is. No, it's a button. It's, it's black glass. What did she say? It's a special type of glass. Hmm. She explained it, but the card is in a different section. But it's, and she sent me a whole little collection.